All right, hello everybody. My name is Cecily Essery. I'm the CRE of Potts Hall. I live here, I work here, I supervise the RAs, I work with lead hogs, I will see you around soon. Um, but it's my job to take care of this community and so I'm excited to show you around today. Um, first off, before we leave this space, I wanna highlight the Fulbright Dining Hall, which is right over to your left. That is where you will get food and get to hang out with friends. There are lots of food options. We also have Club Red, which is right down here, where you can get a quick um, bite to eat as well if you are hungry and in a hurry. And that's in what, the Maples? In that it is in the Maples, yep. So it's only a couple minute walk from here. Okay, fantastic. So I'll take you guys inside. Um, this is our south entrance. Typically you'll take this to go to class because campus is that way. And we have a couple of people watching already. Nice, hello. Say, hey, tell us where you're from and we'd love to uh, find out a little about your starting here. You need to use the FOB there, right? Yep, so we, um, everybody has to have FOB access to get into the building. You can't get in without a FOB. If you have guests, we ask that you wait, have them wait in this area until you can escort them because the only way you can have guests in the building is if you do escort them. But for the beginning of the school year, keep an eye on uh, visitation policies because those will change. Okay. All right, well, welcome inside. Um, this is our lobby area where you can play pool, you can play ping pong. Um, we do ask that you bring your own equipment this year. Um, just for safety reasons, we won't be um, checking it out at the desk for the first semester. There's also our kitchen area. There's also our kitchen area where you can have a meal with some friends, um, you can cook. We do have a community fridge. We ask that you don't keep your items in there very long because we do have 400 people living here and only one fridge. I was gonna say about 400 people live in Hot. Yep, right? we have a, yep, we have a capacity up to 416 and we have 16 RAs, so there's 400 of you. So um, we ask that you label all your food. Um, we also have a, a um, microwave oven and we have a convection oven so you can cook in here. Please bring your own cooking equipment and make sure you clean up after yourself when you're all done. What kind of things do people cook in here, do you know? Well, um, we cook all the time. There's a group of students, the past two years, we've had cooking Sundays or baking Sundays. So if you all wanna continue that tradition, um, then you, we welcome it. But students, you know, cook things, they bake things and um, build community through that. Um, the next area we have is our theater room, mm -hmm. where if you like movies, you like to watch sports, this is your place. We have, um, we have gaming parties in here. We have watch parties. Um, there's plenty of seating. We've got a beanbag chair. You can also see that there are lots of fridges in here. Um, we have micro fridges stored in here. Right yeah, what now. are those fridges about? Oh, let me tell you. Um, a really sustainable option and good option for having a fridge in college is these micro fridges rented out by Collegiate Concepts. If you just Google Collegiate Concepts, um, UARC, then you can find how to rent them, but it's a microwave and a fridge that you can rent for the year and then you'll give back when you're done. So it's a great option for not having to leave with a micro fridge that you don't really need um, in, in the future. So you kind of have it when you're here and then it's yep. gone when you're gone. Yep. You may need it, you know, your first couple years living on campus and if you ever move into an apartment, you may not need one. So this is a great option for that. But we do encourage that you stay on campus because it's a great experience living here. All right. We are also going to show you our music room. We have a lot of students who love music. Um, we have a lot of people in band. We have a lot of people who um, play music in different ways. So we have um, a drum kit and we have a piano. Mm -hmm. um, we actually are looking into getting a new drum kit soon. And so hopefully we'll have a brand new one that's even fancier than that. And you can just play the drum kit when you want to, huh? You can. You can. Work off a little uh, extra energy? Yes, we have a lot of students practice. Um, you, you play drums, right? I do not play drums. I wish I was a drummer. That would be awesome. Okay. I'm going to pass it over here to Xavier. Oh, yeah, sure. Hi. Hello, hello, everyone. My name is Xavier Smith, and I'm the graduate assistant for recruitment and diversity retention within the Honors College. And I specifically work with the Honors College PATH program. And so that is a program for under, high achieving, underrepresented uh, scholars. And so through that program, we provide a great community that helps them excel throughout their college career. But I wanna to talk to you today a little bit about the Jessamy Eve Samuels meeting room here, which is newly oh, dedicated. Yeah. I, see, I see the label right there. For sure, and so that is a wonderful dedication to a former student here um, who was fortunately, unfortunately not with us. So we wanted to put this in her memory. Mm -hmm. uh, but this room is a wonderful room for you to be able to study, as well as we often have programs in here. Now, of course, due to COVID-19, we will have a different 
uh, set up for our programming this year. They're most likely going to be virtual, but there are some great perks that you can still have within this room. And so one of the things that you might pay attention to is these hot letters here. Mm -hmm. if you'll come this way and see. As you can see, there are names all over the letters, all over the letters. And it's HOT's tradition to have every freshman resident each year sign their name upon these letters. And so we cannot wait for you guys to have your name upon these letters, just like our former residents here. That's a nice tradition. Yeah, I like that. For sure, for sure. So look forward to that. Um, and so I also want to bring your attention to our patio over here. And so this is a wonderful outdoor space. A wonderful outdoor space, as you can see. This is great to uh, study. You can also socialize out here while socially or social distancing. Um, and so previously, this was home to our professors and pizza on the patio in which students could uh, mingle with and connect with professors and enjoy pizza. Um, pizza and professors, awesome. Right, right, right. Got to get your food, right? Mm -hmm. Um, and so this is a great educational space and also a place to relax and unwind. And so we cannot wait for you to utilize this space and socially dis distance this year. For sure. And I think we're going to head back inside. Mm, I think we're going to hit that second door over there. All right. Yeah. And if anyone's watching and has any questions for us, now is a perfect time to ask. Okay. Again, we'd love to know where you're coming from. This is another one of our gathering spaces. Um, we A lot of people hang out in this area to study or just be with a friend. Um, there's always something going on in the HOTS lobby. It is a place where if you want community, you're going to find it in the first floor lobby. Um, you, I can hear people in my apartment till 3 in the morning playing games sometimes down here. It's always a good time. There's also places to study in the fishbowl. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, behind you, we have our front desk. So our RAs, we have 16 RAs in the building who are here to serve you um, in many different capacities. One of them is at working at the front desk. And so um, typically in the afternoons or on the weekends throughout the whole day, um, you, we have this space for equipment rental. Even though this semester we will only be looking at renting out HDMI cables and remotes. Um, that is the only thing we will be checking out. But plug for shameless plug for Campus Cox Cable Services. If you want TV in your room and you have one, we have free cable hookup. You also can get free cable services on your laptop by searching um, Campus Cox UARC. And um, you can get free cable television on your, t on your laptop. So if you want to watch a live basketball game when they come back, um, when they're back in season, or you like The Bachelor, we, you can watch it for free and it's all live. Okay, so we have that. We had a couple questions come in while we were talking. Yes. Um, Ethan asks, is there a good place to store a bike? Um, yes, we have a bike storage area on both sides of the building, so there's plenty of space for you. I also love to ride bikes, so I encourage you to bring your bike. You can also, you could store in your room if you're really protective over your bike, um, but there's not the most space in the world to do that, so I recommend you put it outside. And, and one more resource when it comes to bikes here in Fayetteville is uh, we have what's called the Greenway, which is a wonderful bike path and multi-use path between here and all the way up to uh, Bentonville. So. Yeah, if you bring a bike, you'll have plenty of places to ride. Yes. Angela asks, I checked out Collegiate Concepts and only saw the fridge. Is, uh, is there also microwaves? And the answer is yes. Yes, because it's connected. So the fridge and the microwave are together as a package. I don't, if there is a separate microwave option, I'm not sure about it. So um, you'll have to do some more digging or you can email me or you can comment in the second. Yeah, well, we, we, second. they're both available. We know that, that there are fridges available and microwaves available. Um, whether they come together as a pack or whether you have to get them individually, I'm not entirely not sure. sure. I usually see them come together. So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so that's it for the desk. If you ever need something and you don't know who to talk to, come down to the desk. We also have a 24-hour HOTS RA on duty. So if you ever get locked out of your room or you just need, you don't know something happened, you don't know who to talk to to get help, you can always call the RA on duty and they're there to help you. So the numbers are posted all throughout the building. We've got 16 amazing RAs coming to work for you next year. And um, there's two RAs up per floor. So you always have someone who's really dedicated towards helping you as well as all of them. So um, let's head this way. Yeah, and while we're walking in that direction, let me ask, how is mail handled? How do you mail, do mail? Good here? question. So this is not a full service desk, but we do have a full service desk that we work a lot with at Maple South. So it's a two minute walk again. And that's where you're going to get your mail. Um, you can send mail from there. You can't send packages, but you're going to have to head over there. You'll get your own mailbox code and you'll share a, room, a mailbox with your roommate. Thank you. 
All right, so this is another hangout space, but then we have our fishbowl. This is one of my favorite rooms. Wait, what did you call it? It's the fishbowl. Um, it used, it was supposed to be a computer lab, but we don't have computers. So now we just have this awesome space um, with a huge table. There's a hookup for, um, if you wanna do a presentation or um, you just wanna share a screen with people to watch the show, you can do that. And this place is just usually a great place for studying. Um, don't run into these glass doors. It happens a lot. People don't realize the doors are closed. We've oh, got hence marks the fishbowl. Okay, yeah. You know, that's a dramatic table. I feel it like is. It kind of is. Laws could be written at that table. But a lot of a lot of studying is a lot of good things have happened here. So, you know, yeah. I had a group of students a couple years ago give me a Shark Tank presentation of why um, they should have a second floor RSO, registered student organization, in this room. They set everybody up. They presented in suits. So there's a lot of important things that happen here. <laughs> we also have our, we typically have our lead hogs meetings. If you're a lead hog, hello, we're excited to have you. We have our meetings in there. We'll see what they look like this semester. Um, we probably will see a lot of virtual stuff. Then we have our first study room. This is a great space um, for a small group. You can also come in here and take a test. Um, if you need to, you can just put a sign on the door. Um, we also have whiteboard walls. These are amazing. Um, bring your own whiteboard markers and erasers and you can write, write on these. We ask that you wipe them off when you leave though. Just write right there on the wall, huh? You can write on the wall. That's crazy. And then this is our, um, another TV lounge. We have these awesome chairs that are ergonomically made for gamers. So if you love to game and you don't want your body to hurt, then you sit there oh. and you can game. I, I don't really see people gaming them. They're usually just hanging out, but that's fine. So. Um, then we'll go down this hallway. We have two offices. So the first one is my office. If you ever need something and you don't know who, who to go to, you can always come here. Um, if my door is closed, you can always send me an email. My email's on the door. You can call me. And my office hours are 9 to 5. If um, I have a lot of meetings and work with a lot of students, so if the door is closed, just don't be hesitant to reach out in another way. It says world's best CRE. Is that oh, official? That's 100%. Uh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I would say true, but, but there's some great CREs here. So, okay, okay. But this is my office. Um, I meet with RAs in there, do a lot of administrative stuff, stuff that nobody knows about, but it's what I love to do. So Heidi is um, our GA who is basically the liaison between the Honors College and HOT students. Mm -hmm. So she, you'll see her around putting on programs. Um, if you ever need help with academic resources, she's your person. Really sweet gal. And um, so she works out of this office. And she's with the Honors College. Yep, right? she works for the Honors College, but she hangs out with us in HOTS. All right, our next space, um, unfortunately, will be closed in the fall um, due to COVID-19. Um, we will reassess in the spring. But when it is open, we have a lot of equipment. Um, we have a Smith machine, some treadmills, um, a dip machine, an elliptical all of that. So this space really, um, it's a great space if you don't want to walk down to the hyper. Um, the hyper will be open. If you're interested in working out and doing all of that, I would check their website out for their new COVID-19 hours and procedures because they are looking to be safe and open for you. And so I would not be discouraged from working out. Just head down to the hyper. I think we may have some former students in, Ooh, in our feed right now. Uh, Isha Rizzo and nice. Sydney Lulu Smith okay. and uh, Natalie Torres. Very nice. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Good to have you. We also on the first floor, yes, yeah, so good to have you. On the first floor, we also have a men's restroom. Um, a lot of people can't find it because it's not next to the women's one down there, but don't forget it's over here. Okay. There's also a stairwell to go up the stairs that way. There's a lot of programs and hanging out that happens down here. The RAs put on a lot of programming to give um, community building opportunities, educational programs, and this is a lot of where that happens, as we've talked about. You know, COVID-19 planning may look a little different, but mm -hmm. um, we also have some vending machines for you and some recycling, so um, you can always recycle here. There's recycling on every floor, but you can start um, with the first floor behind here. There's some spots. Well, you know, I was wrong. They're actually not students who were here. They're here. They're coming this okay, fall. I was like, I they're coming this fall. Good so to, that's good great. To, I was like, oh, I'm not sure about Yay. this. We're excited for you to, to be watching us. There are also two elevators behind us. Um, there's some rumors that the elevators don't work super well all the time. Let me assure you, they're up and running. They are ready to go for you. We also have a trash room. So when you have big trash that doesn't fit in the, the floor recycling or floor trash chutes, you just dump your trash 
right in here. Remember um, to bag it and make sure it's clean. And you can put recycling over in that corner. You break down your boxes and put them on top of that trash can right over there. There's no place to recycle cardboard anywhere else in this building, only right there. Okay, thank you. Yep. All right. Our next stop is going to be the laundry room. Uh -huh. For those of you who don't have your parents still do your laundry, here's where you'll do your laundry. Some people will go home every weekend to do their laundry. I, I mean, if, it, but... if, if you've got that ability. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I don't know. So we have plenty of washers and dryers, as you can see. You have already paid for them, so you don't need coins, you don't need your card. There's an app that you can scan to tell you when your laundry's done. Um, the most important thing for you to remember is to do your laundry promptly. This space will fill up quickly with 400 people if you're not quick at remembering when your laundry is going to be done and turning it through. So I recommend that. Um, we ask that you don't use bleach. You'll bring your own um, your own laundry detergent. Pods usually is what we recommend. Like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Really just be respectful of the space. That's the biggest thing because we have a lot of people doing laundry and a lot of stuff can end up laying around here. So please be kind to our space. Yeah. And the laundry alert app allows you to see when uh, different uh, machines are open yes. and when your yours is ready to go. Do you want to take the elevator? Yeah, let's take the elevator. All right, let's Why do not? that. And so tell me, where are you from? Me? Uh -huh. yeah. um, I'm from Oregon. Um, if there's anybody from Oregon watching, woo woo. But I love Fayetteville now. So um, I moved from Oregon to go to grad school mm -hmm. and then met my husband and ended up staying here. My husband also lives here. Um, In the building? Yes, his name's Jeff. He's awesome. And you may see him around. He loves Fulbright because we get free food um, working here. So we had a few comments come in just yes. now. Um, Emma. Emma asked, uh, is HOTS open to incoming transfer and upperclassmen students? It is not. It's you have to be a freshman to be in HOTS. 100% freshman. And Olivia gives a shout out to the Pacific Northwest. Yes, well. Olivia, we'll have to talk. And um, Sydney is in room 322. Okay, we're on so, your third floor. while we're in the third floor, we might just dip in for a second. Just real quick. Okay. Okay, so what I'm gonna show you first is the study room. Um, and then we're going to head all the way back to the other rooms. Um, we have a bathroom area here. It's identical to the other side. Um, 322. Ooh, we're just going to miss her room. <laughs> There's a stairwell here. And then this is your study floor or study space on your floor. You're on floor three. It's a little echoey in here. Um, but another whiteboard wall for all your equations and things that you're studying. And then we've got a couple tables in here for you. The biggest thing to remember in this space is just keep it down after 10 o'clock because it's a little echoey in here um, for these students over here. It's 322 on this side. It is. You want to go there? Let's go over there. Let's see. All right. These doors never lock, so they just kind of stay open. Okay. 322, here's your room. It was it Olivia? Yeah. Nice. Olivia, here's your room. It's pretty nice. Your bed is lofted. Yes, your bed is, your bed is lofted right now. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Right. Very good. We will show you how many people have we got watching. We've right got now? about 52. 53. Nice. Okay. And um, let's see. Jackie. Well, Hi. Jennifer is in room 909. Jackie asks, "Can we see a corner room?" And we do have a corner room on the tour. Yep. Uh, Anna asks, "Will study rooms on each floor be available for students to use?" Yes, they will be. The biggest thing is just capacity. So we'll probably take a few chairs out of there to make sure there's not too many people in one space, but they will be available. And Angela asks, can we see a restroom? And yes. Yes, I got you. That is that's an important part of this. So um, I want to highlight the community spaces. So these are our lounges, our floor lounges. There's a TV that you can hook up. Um, a lot of people do like game nights and movie nights. And um, this is just great space. I also want to highlight um, the RA room that's over here. So there's two RAs per floor, as I said. And here's where one of them lives in 318. Mm -hmm. And then... We do a lot of programs in this area as well. So students hang out, and then sometimes RAs put on programs. Back at the elevator lobby. Um, recycling is really important in HOTS. We do a great job at recycling. Um, we we um, 
sometimes we have people who are really passionate and they come through and students um, sort it for us and we've just we've got a really good sustainability crew and so you can do plastic metal and paper here uh, we got a question from Amber about will masks be required in the dorm in the dorm common spaces they will be. Um, to make sure that we're all safe and people are feeling comfortable we will be requiring masks in common spaces the place that you don't have to have masks is in your room um, here's another common space um, as well as you can see there's a closet over here and that is the trash chute um, the trash chute is where you can if you don't want to go all the way downstairs and you have a small bag of trash you can just throw it down the trash chute there's also a broom in there that you can use and um, so you don't have to bring your own okay I'll show you the bathroom so first off we have a water fountain yeah, we, and we do recommend that you bring your own water bottle um, the fountain part where you would put your mouth close to will not be available when you get here. But this will be so that it's touchless and you're not getting your mouth near it. So um, we have three types of bathrooms. So the first one is the unisex bathroom or ADA. Um, this has a huge shower. You want to pull the curtain? Yep. Um, this is going to close. There we go. So the biggest thing is make sure you always close the curtain all the way. Otherwise, the water will come out and then you have a wet bathroom floor and we don't want that. That's a, that's a pretty big shower. Yeah, you need a big shower, there you go. So that's that, and then you got toilet, sink, all of that. And then we have another um, bathroom that's individual, but it's a little bit smaller. And that's so there's just the toilet? No, it's the toilet and the shower. There's a shower back here, if I can squeeze back here. It's a little single stall shower. And then toilet and there, sink. sink. And then we have the community bathroom where you have five different sinks. And then what we do, we don't allow students to keep their items in here. So when you come in, you'll bring your stuff and when you leave, take your stuff with you. Um, just because there's so many people, we can't have everybody storing their toothbrushes and hair stuff and all that. Um, we have three or four, four, four different types of bathrooms. We got a shower and a toilet here. The next one has a toilet, we have a shower and a toilet, and then we have just a shower. Okay. So. It looks like most of the showers have kind of an area where you can get dressed. Yes. And the cool part about these is they have the full door, so you're not feeling like you're in a stall in a public place. It's a very private. Oh, it, it goes all the way down to the floor. Yes. How, so Europe, how European of us. Oh, wow. How European. I didn't know that was a European thing. Yeah. All right. And then... We're gonna go to some rooms now. So we're gonna start with the 08 room. Mm -hmm. We have eight of them and they're um, our specialty room. Um, these are not a typical layout. There's only a few of them, as I said, um, but we'll show you kind of the layout of the space and the furniture. Okay. And if we have any questions, let us know. Um, this furniture is all the same as it would be in another room. So I can just kind of go over that with you. Every room has, um, two sets of the same thing. So we have your bed. Um, this is a lofted bed. So this is as high as it's going to go. If you want to de-loft it, you'll just need a mallet from the front desk um, and a friend, and you can de-loft this down. All, most of them are going to start out lofted for the year, but you can also put in a request on the housing website if you want to be sure that it's lofted. Um, there's a mattress here. Um, a lot of people bring mattress toppers just for a better sleep. Um, so if you want one, bring one. Then we have your dresser, so there's three big drawers. And then you have a nightstand with a place to lock. So if you wanna um, have just a place where you can lock stuff up, you can just put a padlock in here to the drawer. And then you have your desk and your desk chair. And then, what else? Um, okay. Help me remember this when we go to the other room. Yes. Anna asked, what's the height of each drawer inside the dresser? Good question. When we get into the other room, we'll, we'll measure that. Okay. And then you have your armoire where you can store a lot of your clothes. It also has a full-length mirror, so you don't need to bring a big mirror with you. A um, couple clothing racks and some cubbies. Let me give a good pan of this. What, what do we call this? This is the end room? We call it the end room or the 08 room is typically what it's the called. Room, it's okay. Yeah, I'll let you pan around. And then this room has two entrances and exits as well. Okay. And then we were asked to look at a corner room. So we'll go to the All right, room. we'll go to the corner room. 
This room is just slightly, slightly bigger yeah, than another room. Not by much at all, but it's enough. So same furniture, a um, little different view, different you know window layout. And then there's um, a smoke or a particle detector in every room. So if you're there's fire safety um, and all of that in every room as well. A carbon monoxide detector for safety. Sydney asks, are the rooms besides the study rooms on the other side also corner rooms? And I believe they are. Yes, they are. So yes. there's four corner rooms and then the 08 room and then the rest of the same. Haley asks, how wide is the corner room? And I feel like we have that maybe on the website. Yeah, the website, we, or I don't think this one has it. Or we have a, I think we have just a general we standard. Don't. Do you want to get the wide one? We can get the, we get the, you guys want to work together. That, that one may be a little harder to use. But you guys can get okay, it. we can try it. Okay. We're going to do the width of the room. Assuming is that the way you want? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is going to reach. Come over here. Yeah. What do we got? One hundred and forty inches. Um, Someone can divide that by twelve and get us to um, how many feet? We're close to twelve feet, right? That's ten. One forty-four would be. Yeah, I know we're close. Feet. Right, so. so yeah, twelve. Yeah, as you were saying, yeah, what was it? Twelve feet and. Yeah. Or, change, uh, yeah. Any of you math major, don't get mad at me. <laughs> 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 no. Was a business major. Okay, so we're heading in a more typical room now. Okay, so this is a typical room. Mm -hmm. And um, same furniture, same layout. And then this, the dimensions of this room are going to be 13.6 inches, or 13 feet, 6 inches, and then by 11 feet, 6 inches. Okay. So just okay. a little bit, that one's just a so, little bit wider. Yeah, because that was a, this is 11 feet, yep. 6 inches. That was 144 inches. Yeah, so we're just closer okay. to 12 feet. Great. Okay. Well, you want to plan um, around this room? Yeah, and now's a great time to ask us any questions. We did have one question that came in earlier about the uh, height. I believe of oh, the. Oh yes, of the drawer. Mm-hmm. Yes. Get that. You want to come measure? Sure. So while he's measuring that too, I want to highlight. Um, clearly, every room has multiple people. Um, some of us have. Some students have single rooms. But if you have a roommate, something we do every year is we um, facilitate roommate agreements. So a lot of people room with strangers, and sometimes comes with that is figuring out what you prefer. And so at the beginning of the year, your RA will meet with both of you, and you'll do a roommate agreement to talk about what you expect with living together and um, how to work best together. We also do, the RAs do one-on-ones with everybody, so you'll have a chance to have a one-on-one -on -one interaction with your RA as well to build that relationship. Very nice. Did you get it? Eight, eight inches high. Eight inches high? Eight inches high. high. Oh, we should have that dimension. About 24 inches deep. About 24 inches deep. Mm -hmm. So each drawer, is each drawer the same? Um, yes, all of those are okay. the same, yep. So each one is eight inches. Um, 29 inches wide. 29 inches wide, okay. And then Lily asks, uh, what's the height from the top of the drawer to the bottom of the lofted bed? The top of the drawer. So from here to the, yeah. so this is a fully lofted bed. This is fully lofted. Yep. Yeah. And it can go down three inches in three inch increments, I believe. 27 inches. 27 inches. 27 inches, Lily. Yeah. Okay, we're, cer else? we're certainly up for more questions. One that we, um, can we get that, that ledge, as I recall, has a little bit of a indention back there? Yes, this yeah. is also true. Sometimes students forget things when they move out back here, so mm -hmm. don't forget your things when you leave. <laughs> Do you want to measure the hole? Um, Do they want the whole thing? Yeah, let's get the Should whole the thing with the indention. Yeah. If it'll go, will it go that far? Oh, no, it won't. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. It will. Imagine it'd be the width of the room. Okay, do you want it all the way to there? Yeah, if you can, that'd be great. Oh, this thing is not yeah. long enough. Pull it. Okay. Oh, it's already there. Yeah, okay, cool. Already. All right, um, 140 inches. So, yes, it's just the width of okay. the room. Okay, okay, gotcha. And then I'm going to give them a little, I'm going to, I'm going to uh, give them a little view of that little nook yes. real quick. Yes, it. Thank you. <laughs> Okay. 
And uh, Lily asks, can you block the vent? No, um, do not block the vent just for safety purposes. And then also you just want to make sure you get some fresh air in your room. Right. So um, just make sure you keep it away. You can put something in front of it as long as there's space in between um, so that the airflow can continue. Sure. I'll give a closer view of that. Another thing about these rooms is, um, so all the furniture has to stay in the room, but you can arrange it however you want. And so this is a standard layout, but typically people move this stuff all around the room. Um, sometimes roommates, you know, put both dressers on that side and all of that, but um, you can arrange it however you want. People get pretty creative. Everything's movable. Yeah, yeah it's all movable. Um, the other thing is the outlets. A lot of people ask about the outlets. So there's um, an outlet here and there's an outlet down there. And on this side, it's the same. So there's two outlets on each side. There are not outlets on the um, south and the north wall. So we have a couple of measurements coming in here. We'll go over them one by one. Um, Jeff asked what size rug will fit. And, you know, I, I guess, can we give them maybe this space down here? Yeah, if you want a space, so we're gonna, we'll measure the, the space with a standard layout, but really you could do it any size in the room if you're okay with furniture going on top of it. Mm -hmm. But we'll, we'll fit one just for this common common area. It's about 65 inches. 65 inches? It's about 65 inches between the two beds. Yeah. One fourteen? About 114 inches in that dimension. Um, Lily asked, if I put a shelving unit right in front of the air vent will it block the airflow um if it's a flat back or if, like, you know how there's those ones with the cubes that one yeah. would probably be fine but mm -hmm. if it's a like one with a flat back you just want to make sure it's like six inches away from it uh, you could probably make it work if you're willing to give up a little bit of space right 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 um and then uh jennifer jennifer asks is the room length dimension to the wall where the bed is or is the dimension to the window or window ledge. Let me think through that again, make sure I'm getting it right. Is the room length dimension to the wall where the bed is, or is the dimension to the window or window ledge? Oh, I think she's asking about the, the, the dimensions we publish. And I believe that the dimensions we publish would be... To the floor, floor to floor, is that yeah. what she, yeah. Not to the window, because the ledge isn't gonna be counted in the the floor and the dimensions of yeah, that. Yeah, I wouldn't think so. Um, and then Lily asked, what's the dimension between the two beds? And I think we just got that when we did the, mm -hmm. yeah. thank you. Okay, love these questions. Sydney asked, can you measure the distance between the ceiling and the top of the fully lofted bed? Good question. I would go, the yeah, I would go at the top of the mattress too. Oh, okay. 29 inches. Okay. Thank you very much. The um, other thing I want to highlight too is um, we have the, like I talked about, you can have free cable in here. And so the cable boxes are on that side of the room. They're on either or, but this side of the room, it's on here or in here. In this room, it's on this side. You also have some towel, towel racks as well. Nice call out on the towel, towel, towel racks. <laughs> um, let's see here. Eric asks, does each room come with ethernet? If so, how many ports are there in each room? There's one port and each room has one. Okay. Yep, good question. Uh, Catherine asks, what's the difference between the door and the corner of the room on the bigger side? So the measurement between the door and, the, and that side of the room? Is that what she's On asking? the bigger side. Let's see, what's the difference between the door and the corner of the room on the bigger side? Okay, let's just, let's just show those two corners. You mind opening, uh, closing yeah. the door? So um, if you have this side of the room, typically you'll want to work with your roommate to kind of share this side of the wall because if you're on this side, you're going to have a door on your side of the room so it takes away some space. So just work with your roommate to figure out how you can share this, this side of the wall, if that makes sense. Yeah, we'll just compare the, compare the two sides of the wall. Okay. Hopefully that answered her question. Uh, sounds good. And then Jennifer asks, 
Uh, well, she's saying thank you. Hey, awesome. our pleasure, Jennifer. Uh, Anna is asking here, uh, what is the height from the floor to the top of the bed frame when the bed is at a height that accommodates the dresser underneath? So what is the height from the floor to the top of the bed frame? It doesn't, it accommodates it right now. So she's saying right, if it's right above yeah. this, then it would be, I mean, just above. So probably, oh gosh. What setting, what setting are we at right now with that? What height are we at right now? To the top of the bed. Well, from the floor, like if we were telling them, hey, I want to set my bed at this height, what bed, well, how would we tell them that right now? Okay. Can you go to the frame, the top of the frame? 59 and a half, 59 and a half is where it is right now, if that's helpful. Okay. Uh, uh, Isha asks, since there will be uh, community washrooms, how will we mitigate possible community spread of COVID-19? And we are taking some extra precautions this year when it comes to the cleaning of bathrooms. They will be cleaned um, normally they're cleaned once a day during the week. Uh, this fall we'll be cleaning them twice a day and also every day, uh, also on the weekends. Yes. So. And the high touch areas will be um, cleaned more often um, just during this time. And she talked about the, uh, the, was it the washroom or the washing or the um, laundry room? Uh, the washrooms. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then Lily asks, uh, Lily asks uh, what's the distance from the towel rack to the door side of the, uh, of the wall? Power rack to the door side. Forgive me, y'all. These are hard to interpret from, from words. Okay, so from here to here, is that what she's asking? From uh -huh, the I think so. The door side? Yep, I think so. Get it. About a foot. What was that? About a foot? foot. About one foot okay. is what we got there. And feel free to retype your questions if we're totally missing it and you're at home being like, oh my gosh, these people. Sure. And our towel racks behind the door. Yes. There are towel racks right there, two towel racks. And you also have your thermostat here. Um, so if you want to change, change the temperature of the room, you have that as well. Okay. So. Um, is this a corner room or a standard room? Standard room. If you want to look at a corner room, rewind a little bit and we just went through one. And really the main difference there is maybe less than a foot, I think, in width yes, or something like that. Yeah. Width, so they're pretty similar. Um, and then uh, Catherine asks, Will both wardrobes fit beside the door? Yes, on this side. If you're talking about this side, absolutely. <clears throat> Easy answer on that one, yes. Well, let me, let me just double check. I'm pretty okay. sure they will, but I, I'm got a little... As worried. I look at it, it looks like yes. I think but. so. Yep. Okay, the only thing is if you wouldn't want this to be covered, so let's yeah. do it from there. Yep, with about an Woo. inch and a half. About an inch and a half left. An inch and a half to spare. That's okay. a great way to do it. A lot of people do that. Yeah. Um, and then Jennifer asks, are you able to measure the wall space between the door and the corners, please? The door and the corner? Uh-huh. Here? Okay. 20 inches. 20, 20 inches, Jennifer. Okay. And yeah, Lily's saying thank you. Jennifer's got her qu questions answered. Great. We're happy to answer these questions for you. It really gives us a lot of pleasure to do so. Um, soon we'll see you. I'm excited to see you more. That's really it. I'm, I'm getting pretty lonely around here. It's by myself in this 400 person building, you know? She's going a little crazy in a good I'm way. I'm crazy. I'm used to like people being all around here and I'm all the time and it's getting pretty quiet. Well, with no further questions then, yeah, as you're saying, you're excited. I'm excited. We're excited to have all of you coming this fall and, um, any, any other thoughts you might pass on to your incoming freshmen? Yeah, I mean, I'm just excited to be all are coming. I hope you're excited as well. Um, I know we're all working with an untraditional school year, but I just really encourage everybody to come in. Um, just flexible and um, being creative and just kind of rolling with whatever this year looks like. We're obviously going to do our best to, um, you know, protect you and be safe and all of that. But I just think if we can just get creative with what this year looks like, I think we'll have a really cool year. So, um, we're excited to see you. If you need anything, just email me at Cecily R C E C I L E E R at uark.edu. Um, you can look me up in the directory too. 
Um, but if you need something, just reach out to me, and I'm just I'm looking forward to seeing y'all. Yay. All right, well, you, you wave us goodbye. All right. Bye, everybody. Have a great day. And, and Ben, I'll just say we'll catch your question in comments afterward, okay? Thank you.